Welcome to the Scale Builders Guild. We're live. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone. Episode 210? 210. A new, new updated uh, thumbnail. Yes. More accurately representing Matt's Sort of more like me. Life experience. It's, it's Pixar me if <laughs> I was not at all what I look like. <laughs> Why does Josh look perfect and I can't get me to? Can look? I can I say something? I had a phone call with my brother the other day. Well, he texted me, okay, a, a cropped image of the thumbnail. For one, <laughs> my brother and I, we don't talk about YouTube stuff. He doesn't. He's not. A, he's not into RC. He doesn't have anything to do. Like he's just yeah. And he like just sent me a, a cropped screenshot of them. Like, obviously I've seen the thumbnail. Is there anything you would like to add about it? Didn't say anything. <laughs> so I called him on the phone day before yesterday or so. And he's just like, Oh my God, whoever did that thumbnail. He goes, that is amazing. It's so perfect. Like the uneven eyebrows and everything. I'm like, the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Because you've got of, uneven eyebrows, obviously. What kind of dig is that? I'm like, I think it's just an inquisitive look. Like, is that is that what I was going for? I don't know, but I was just like, that is my little brother, man. I just, yeah. I think I've got to feed the algorithm a few more things about me because it's not <laughs> it's not perfect. This is, yeah, it needs some work. It's Regardless, crazy. hello everyone. Welcome to the show. Live stream takeover. How about this thumbnail? <laughs> Thank you. Creeper Flash. glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if you don't want me coming to your house, don't make fun of my glasses. Yeah. Like... <laughs> Simple as that. What do you say about it, huh? <laughs> yeah. What, what do you think about me now? <laughs> uh, <laughs> what have you been up to, Josh? Man, it's. I feel like. Even though it's just Wednesday, it does feel like it's been a bit of a week already. This has been the longest week the last few days. Um, yeah, I, it's been very busy. And yes. uh, I was in the Bay Area today. We were at the Haas facility. Um, Gene. Gene. These the machines are shit. <laughs> <laughs> the car is fucked. <laughs> too, too fucking expensive, Gene. No one's going to buy them. I'm out of here. Uh, we were there looking at a, a machine, not a Haas. Don't worry. We, we, we <laughs> they, wanted to so they don't just sell Haas; they sell other brands. Uh, like, well, you don't want to buy our stuff. It's actually yeah, it's a a whole facility. Haas is one of their main brands, but they sell good one, good brands as well. So yeah, Haas is fine if you need something cheap to get the job done, but it's not gonna it ain't gonna run it for might, twenty years. It might steal your data. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that was uh, it was we were looking at a robot to automate a couple of couple of machines. Robots are fun, man. Love robots. I like robots too. And so, I, uh, I for one, welcome our new robot overlords. Absolutely, I'd say thank you to them all as I walk out the door every day. Make sure that yeah, they run thank overnight. Thank you. When they take <laughs> over. They do. Ah, Dogan's in here. Hello, Dogan. Dogan? Congratulations on the purchase of your buggy. Oh, yeah, I saw that. I'm sure your uh, dog Wes will absolutely love it. Yeah, it's only a three seat, though. So Wes is going to have to oh. run alongside. Dog, baby, Dogan. <laughs> so, yeah, that's uh, who can start your language tonight. <laughs> Watching with my son. Hello, child. Son. Yeah. Youngin, <laughs> the cats in the cradle and the silver spoon. <laughs> ah, but yes, that's beyond that work. Just cranking on the, getting the new website going. Hopefully, hopefully next Tuesday. You know, if you had a marketing manager, could have probably got that done a lot faster. Uh, I don't know if that's true. Possibly true. Can we move the logo over this much. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's exactly the kind of marketing manager I would be. Uh, yeah, like, uh, I don't know about that. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I saw uh, saw Dogan's new uh, new buggy, and it's yeah, it was it's made by a 
company called the chassis is a Hulse engineering, I think. Um, and that is the guy who is behind that brand, Richard Hulse. He was actually an old school OG RCC guy named oh. uh, Re Wrecker was what he went by. He Wrecker. Made, yeah. I remember he that made name. lots of really cool chassis, the whole, you know, RC size back in the day. And now he makes some really cool looking buggies. <laughs> so, <laughs> good good oh. hey speaking of aardvark spleen i was listening to the latest episode which one's the latest one caitlin uh from the coffee company is on the show oh my god i did not know that i have not watched i did not know this her coffee truck guess where it uh -huh. is toronto yeah it's in toronto i didn't know that i didn't know that either but by your ex your yeah intrigued tone i had a guess i can't wait to go get her autograph hate from toronto <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i did finally listen to the awesome. icp episode so that was good oh, okay that's good great yeah. but rc things rc I've been, things back to that hard at work <laughs> okay thank you for finishing that sentence yeah sorry <laughs> um on the new uh, moon buggy chassis yeah so, the Sick. design is pretty pretty solid and i've started printing fixtures already um, excellent yeah i watched your time lapse photography of that happening so some of the uh yes fixtures are, are getting done and you I'm need to make to... a different fixture when you use steel versus titanium no or is it... well, okay both right. these are going to be steel i'm just what? i'm i'm just doing steel on both i you feeling was, okay I'm, I'm we're out of time we're out of time <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about it's not even the end of march i know. got two whole months after that wait no we don't no we don't a yeah we do two yeah, whole we, months april april, may. april may no big deal i can knock okay. out two whole trucks in that time so yeah uh yeah, jerry burst done. thank you you're done rc uh new bumper sticker idea fuck your carbon <laughs> Fuck. Is that field oriented <laughs> control? I believe it is. Field under controlled. I don't know what it is. Uh, <laughs> the marketing manager thousands of miles away is better than no one who Vanquish <laughs> currently employs in that position. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for fighting <laughs> for me. Nicholas, since you're sending my cycling goons, my great Keith and Cutter. <laughs> <laughs> he was fine. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that really? I don't know. It's amazing. That probably is actual <laughs> cyclist. <laughs> That's amazing. His English is far too good. <laughs> uh, comments? Yes, we can see all of the comments. Yes. Let's see your comments. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, um, where's your red cat? We'll get to that. Oh yeah, I didn't. I've been gone all day, so I didn't see that they did get that released. Yeah. It. Uh, uh, it came out. Okay, so it came out. They released it at six thirty Eastern or three thirty p.m. Uh, okay. Your time, because they do a live stream, right? Right. Uh, and. Uh, I had gotten an email a few days beforehand that said, here's the deal. You know, it's already in the magazine. So anybody who gets RC car action as a magazine still has already seen it. But don't share any stuff in advance of the times listed below. And I was <laughs> like, this is directed at me personally, right? I was thinking, no, not, no, no, like, no, definitely not. not read. I know how to read. <laughs> Usually. <laughs> if it's an arma release there's a gray area yeah exactly they didn't release any information it's just another photo yeah it's not my fault <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah that came out today um that's uh that's all i can say about that there you go <laughs> when is the actual release info uh 3 30. Oh, no. I mean, like, did your guys' videos come out? Yeah. No, 7. Cool. 7 p.m. Or, like, 4. 
four P PST. I see. I did not five o'clock central. <laughs> Pilot Ryan. Oh, that's on your. Hey, that's for me. I thought this was Ratatouille. What the hell? Yeah, our new thumbnail really does evoke um, Pixar vibes. It was good. I liked it. I liked but that. there's no rat under this hat. Maybe <laughs> under Josh's. There's or we're just now. both big giant meat robots. I have not seen Ratatouille. <laughs> Neither have I. I've, I'm not saying I have anything against Pixar movies. Nicole and I have watched most of them. Um, yeah, but Wally, one of my favorites. I also don't know if I've seen that one. What? But the rest, maybe not. <laughs> I've seen a good amount. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Two of the. Well, I mean, I don't know Ratatouille. So yeah. Uh, one of the best. Incredibles. Ones and uh, I'm sure there's more. And Toy Big Story Hero Four. Five. <laughs> it looked like Matt got a V2 avatar. Indeed. He leveled up his character. <laughs> yeah, he did. Uh, Jeff, 13, Brew, thank you very much. To be fair, the fire team wasn't leaked. It was a legitimate premiere. <laughs> it's true. Well, it was a scheduled premiere, which is different. Right. <laughs> um, but thank you, Jeff. I missed, I, I don't know if you saw, I didn't see you at the drift track this weekend. I was there. Where were you? Hopefully, he wasn't riding his bike <laughs> <laughs> in the bike lane. Yeah. Well, mm. it's questionable whether or not yeah. there was a bike lane. Definitely questionable. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, about that. It's yeah. fine, everybody. I but, do yeah. not, Chris. <laughs> At the theater watching kids. <laughs> I have I can I can proudly say I've never been to the theater to watch a Pixar movie. I don't know yes. if I could say that for sure or not. I mean they were they were coming out when I was a kid as well, so I know you were past that age. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's kid stuff. Yeah. <laughs> the original 30. Toy Story is really old now. I might have seen that in the theater. It's very it's old. Very it's, old. Uh, I don't know how good evening. Is, you are looking less serial killer to me today. Thanks, Jeremy. Stockholm <laughs> syndrome is working, I guess. <laughs> and Gunner, thank you, sir. Uh, hi, all tonight's code hashtag meet robots with Pixar moms. <laughs> mom <butts. laughs> Fantastic. That's Love great. it. You know what? I think you have to buy jerky just so you can use that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, what would be That's the amazing. proper? The proper one to buy with that. Um, oh, that's hot. Wait, he doesn't send. Oh, oh that's say, I was gonna say. Does he have thick say, cuts? Oh, like, oh that's <laughs> hot. Or maybe get yourself some meat sticks. <laughs> then you could offer someone your meat. Stick. Your meat stick. <laughs> Hope that kid's still watching. Yeah. Dana, thank you. Uh, there's a link to satisfyjerky.com. Save some money on meat sticks with uh, meat code sticks. meat robots with Pixar mom butts. You have to use the hashtag. You have to use the hashtag. <laughs> Poor man, John Doe. Thank you very much. Got me a bamboo Thanks, brush specifically. The PS1 never printed in ABS. Just wanted to know. Can the bamboo printers print ABS out of the box and will the default settings suffice for building RC bodies? Hate from Rangel Cordova. Uh, yes, they can print right out of the box. Uh, I had never had yeah. good success with ABS prior to my bamboo. Um, and then I printed it for the first time on here with just default settings as it said, and it was perfect, like immediately. Yeah. I also just had, I, no, I had no problems printing ABS. Just some ventilation is settings. a good idea. Or don't be in the room. Or don't be in the room, you know. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah. other than that, they kill it with it. Yeah. I printed that whole body. This whole body. The ra the Ford and Ranger. Ford Ranger. <laughs> Is that the V1 fender on there currently? That's the V2 fender. Oh, that's the V2. I'm working on Please. V3. I'm working cool. on a V3 right now. I like it. Uh, I'm learning how to do this better because... Every time I do it, I do it better the next time. Yep. I uh, I actually had a good, good, decent, long conversation with the uh, 
people from Fusion today. Oh, you did, did you? Yeah. It was a fun, fun combo. So, Jeff, uh, thanks again. I was sick, sadly. Fun fact, I go in for surgery on my arm this week for nerve damage repair, so I guess I'll be out of our seeing for a bit and probably driving your Corvette. But we got snow today, so you won't be driving it anyway. Yeah. Agreed. Uh, feel better. And, feel uh, up nicely. And thank you. Maybe oh. use your feet. I've seen it done. Or mine. What's the guy? What's the guy's name? What's the guy's name? Masami. Yoshi. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, that's what you Kas meant. Kasami is it like is that? Who made Contra? <sighs> Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, you know. Conversa Roy Roy Fokker. <laughs> Conversation with Fusion was them telling you to bring back STL Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> We're not making our quota. <laughs> Masami. Uh, yeah, that's right. Konami was who made Contra. Okay, I was close. Very close. You have to give me that. No, nope. nope. saying. I think it's no. worth an honorable mention. What kind of nerd are you? <laughs> Not a very good one. Who remembers the cheat code for Contra? Up, up, down, down, left, right. Start. It's a little A, B, select, start. B, A, select, start. Uh, like I don't know. Doesn't matter. Yeah. I don't have a Super <laughs> Nintendo Chalmers anymore anyway. Hey, look at this one here. Art. Hey, Josh. My... Hi, Josh. Fusion Blue TWSBI Diamond 580 ALR shows up tomorrow. Art is that has a got pen? It is. It, it's a nice pen, too. It's a good one. It's a great yeah, yeah, one yeah. for your desk. You leave it on your desk. It doesn't travel. You leave it there. Use the stand it comes with. Gives you just a Why stand. doesn't it travel? It could. I'm just saying. It's a good one to just leave on your desk. You know, but I've got this other. If I'm using the travel, travel, this, if I'm this using travel pretty well for me. Then my Safari Lammies, Lammy Safaris. That is never the case. Ace, Ace Hotel. Hotel pencil, and pencil uh, I've had this pencil. for a long time, and uh, works pretty much every time I use it, without fail. It even has an eraser on the back for when I make mistakes. It feels so. Oh, you make mistakes. <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, I know you do too, Josh. I've seen them. Can't remember. But... Most of the choices you've made in life. <laughs> uh, have I taken any inspiration from pre-runner fiberglass companies for the Ranger? I've been looking, I've been Googling things and taking some inspiration from that, but it's pretty much just me kind of designing on my own. Yeah, it's the workflow that we're using is something called form. And it's such a different world than normal CAD modeling. It, it's for me, it's completely foreign because it's it's more like sculpting. It's opposite. You, like there's no dimensions. There's not. You're just yeah, and you're just winging it. Like, <laughs> yeah, I guess that's pretty smooth. I don't know how some people get all these things so smooth. I'm like, I pull one point. I'm like, ah, damn it! And the whole thing is out of out of whack. So I'm still <laughs> you got to toggle between block and smooth display alt yeah, one i know alt. i know i'm just telling you control you're probably working at one control three control you're working one, at smooth three. display all the time i know you are yeah pretty much no i go back to no i go back to blocks and i do Leave that block all the time all the time all right <laughs> sometimes i like to look and see how smooth it is <laughs> Ooh, look at that yeah smooth. yeah it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, I did take a pen from one of the booths today. I don't know where I put it, though. Fuck, it's in the Jeep. Oh, I know where I put it. I put it on my center console. Never mind. It's, I was going to do, do a pen review right now, but... It's, it's Gunther's personal pen, and it's got his phone number on it. Yeah. Please hire me. I'm broke. <laughs> uh, this was actually at the Kenna Metal booth, and on one end, it's the pen. But it's like the bottom portion of it rotates to like extend the pen or not, I think. And it gives it like oh, this lo no, loose like feeling. And then the top is a little cap and under it is a highlighter. It's like, mm. nah, I don't need, like I had a pen like that in grade school where it had like four different colors. That's yeah. different. Those are actually, I'm on board with those. 
Blue, red, black, green. Yep. <laughs> Okie dokie. All right. Uh, should we do mail call? Uh, we should. I have one box that I have not opened yet. But All right. there's things in it that are amazing that I know. Or that I know one thing in it that's amazing. The rest I don't know. Okay. So uh, do you have multiple things? Uh, yeah. Indy, I on. wasn't trying to burn anything down. That was outside. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Those batteries charge so fast when I did yeah. that. 800 million. Oh, it's done already. I just hit start. <laughs> I, just, I just plugged it in. <laughs> All right. You want me to go? I'll go first. Yeah, because I have one box. Although there's many okay, things so in it, I think. You may have already seen it or not. Here's the new Red Cat Fusion. Ascent, Ascent Fusion. You see carbon fiber? Carbon, carbon fiber. fiber. Carbon fiber? <laughs> carbon fiber. Uh, lots of upgrades on this uh, over the original Ascent. Um, they did a lot of work on the springs and stuff. So, like, much more flexibility on the, uh, the old internal springs because there aren't any in the back. Uh, we upgraded it by taking things away. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you've got you get beadlock wheels now, um, so you can swap out these garbage tires right away. And the foams, not good. Uh, steel bumpers, front and rear. Uh, yep. Aluminum bits all over the place. Lots of anodized red aluminum, which looks quite good with the uh, the look they went with. The big change, though, obviously carbon fiber chassis. Uh, they've lowered the motor plate six mils. And they added a quick run fusion crawler edition. Mm -hmm. Now, in my video, I did say that this was a, a fusion SE, which is not technically true. It's the fusion crawler two in one. Uh, so you cannot adjust the BEC. That's the only difference. That's the old, okay. As far as I know. Um, but uh, yeah, great, uh, great little setup. Um, pretty reasonable price at $399. And um, yep. from what I could tell in my testing of the Devil's Rock Crawler <laughs> course, <laughs> it, uh, it did pretty well. <laughs> yeah. I mean, all of the extra stuff you get there, it's pretty good value. Yeah, definitely going to be a big improvement over the, the original. One. Yeah, yeah. Considering yeah. the first thing I did with mine was get the DSM off-road carbon fiber chassis. <laughs> And right. a quick run fusion two and one yeah. motor. Uh, exactly. That's a, a those are two things step. you're going to probably do. Getting that motor lower because that's a big thing. At this point, <laughs> oh, the brass uh, portal box weights as well. I forgot to yeah. mention that. At this point, the biggest thing is, is that you've got the axles that are still from there, which the, the those axles just aren't. They're never going to be the the comp go to axle. Dom. Um, there's not as much steering. Yeah. The, the, uh, the weaknesses are still there that they have. But <laughs> out of the box for that price, it's a much better, much better pack. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Agreed. I, I definitely do, Rob. And the big the big difference maker, some people asked in the video uh, comments already, what's the difference between like an aftermarket and the, the Red Cat version? Um, Red Cat version has separate um, shock towers, separate pieces for the shock towers. And it's also still a straight skid. So you want more performance out of that chassis, you should get the DSM off-road one because it gives you the angled skid. Angled skid. Angle skid. Yes. Uh, so, there you go. Uh, yep, absolutely. Now, I've got one box here. And this from Frank in the Bay. Frank in the Bay. Frank in the Bay. But it is, is that, it, this is some this is a trade deal. But wow. I know that he said he added some other things, which was very kind. What's up? What do we got? Whoops. I'm hitting buttons on my keyboard. Oh, oh that says for Brandon, so that's not for me. Let's see what Brandon's getting. No, I'm not opening Brandon's. All right. Yep. 
You ready for this? Let's see it. And then we have I have a request from Dogen. Okay. Is it a pen? Is it a pen? <gasps> oh, wow. Is that one of those... Uh, which one is that now? Is that the artist guy? That artist guy? The car raises up. Do you see that? That's sick. I see that. Wow. How much more do you pay for that? Freaking sick. Oh, yeah. What's this guy's name again? Arsham, right. Daniel Arsham, right. Neat. Wow. Oh, that's so cool. That's pretty cool. Ah. Worst focus ever. I know. I still got it set high. It's fine. That's right. so freaking awesome. Wes is oh. that is very cool. Uh, Matt, please show on camera how the rear axle is centered on the ring gear and not the pinion, so the drive sa shaft is offset. The rear axle is centered on the ring gear. Okay, yeah, I see that. That is slightly odd, but. Does that yeah, so that's the center? That has unequal length rear axle shafts, then, is I'm guessing. Yeah. It must. That's odd. I didn't notice that. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. That now that that must be how the other Gen 8 axles are, right? Not a different axle. Let me look at the other one that I have here. Fortun fortunately, they have them here. Yeah, it's the same on that one. Yeah, okay. I, I guess that. I just never noticed it. And I never looked at it. Yeah. Um, That's an interesting observation. Logan, thank you. So how many stubby kits did you have to trade for that package? <laughs> 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 do you have another thing to do? Yes, I do. Um, okay, well, I've got two things here. Um, I, I, you know what? I'm just going to show the, the the remnants of what's left of it. But I bought one of these three wheelers today. <laughs> yeah. And I already took it all apart because all I really wanted out of it was the uh, the vapor unit. <laughs> yep. I fully, I fully support your, your decision with that. <laughs> so I'm doing a little project with that. But uh, I need my multimeter and smarter people than me. And some info on how to use it. Okay. Uh, the <laughs> other part of this package is the part that I don't know what it is. Oh. And what it, do we got? Ooh, we've got some of the new Porsches, the, the 935 Safari and the I have uh, that one. The 935 and the uh, 928 Safari. Yeah, I've got both of those. <laughs> Skyline and the Civic Custom. Love it. Oh, love nice. I love the Civic. Yeah, that's good. Oh, there's the new Porsches. Ooh, those are both so sick. 911 and a 993, but a big wing 993 and the metallic. Ooh, yeah. Orange. Oh, those are so good. Those are nice. And, oh, two more. A, a nice blue 935 and the yellow oh, 911. Oh, so so jelly. I don't have any of those. Dang it. So good. And they all have good Great. wheels. Sometimes that's the hard part with the Porsches is they don't always get good wheels. They don't always put the good ones on there. So good. So nice. Okay. Finally, for me today. Oh. Are you ready for this? Yeah. I don't think you're ready. Well, this I don't think yeah. you're ready for this jelly either. Oh, that's my boat. That's <laughs> my name, Jeff. <laughs> Captain Boat. <laughs> oh, that's. That's a uh, oh, there's a SB. See, Traxxas and SBG are uh, actually in cahoots. He's a paid yeah. shill. This is Scale Boaters Guild. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's a big boat, man. Um, this is about the same size of that is as that Impulse boat, right? Uh, it looks like it. Thirty six. Twenty eight is the Impulse, I think. Oh, this is a bigger boat then. That's thirty six. Yes. Jeez. I counted the squares today. Um, well, success 32 impulse might be 32. impulse is 32 32 
clipless um, or screwless rear hatch thing it, it said? Well, you kind of, yeah. It uses these, you can do quick release I, or you can use a little tool to just quickly turn them once. Yeah, exactly. I see oh, the self-riding chamber. Yes, big, big chain, big, I hope you got a big chamber because I'm going to roll <laughs> my boat over in it. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, stick the water goes in there when it's upside down and, boop, and it goes boop. um yeah so like that's my review <laughs> thanks for watching uh, i don't see. know a lot about boats now did you get the trailer but, um, i did get the trailer okay the trailer's well, not in that's here good because that's what you want that's what you're after that's all i cared about really <laughs> so should i unplug that battery uh carl texts me last night or the night before and he's like hey so i uh took a crawler off the shelf and took the body off and realized the battery was still in it and plugged in and i was like he goes Is that bad i go it's not long it was there he goes a year or two like <laughs> 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 that's maybe not ideal <laughs> not, not no i don't know much about batteries I know that you can charge them at 15 amps most of the time. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't think... Uh, you have, do you have PO box I can send items to? Uh, I have everything sent to Vanquish. So the address is on the website, or you can PM me, and I can always get you that. Although I'm worried. Like, <laughs> <laughs> from him especially. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've already checked it. Thanks, DK. Uh, yeah. It, yeah, it doesn't crawl at all. Even <laughs> with the trailer, limited crawling ability. Yeah. <laughs> so when is Bankers coming out with a boat trailer? No. <laughs> When's Bankers coming out with a boat? Yeah, just a big Never mind the trailer. aluminum boat. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That actually would be pretty cool. Unsinkable, they might call it. I don't know if that's true. Just because it's aluminum. No, the Titanic was unsinkable. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, that's true. Oh, perfect. All right. We'll we'll stay with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it wait, is there something I don't know about that boat? Yeah. Like the marketing material looks fantastic. Let's just use this. <laughs> oh yeah. Ripper H2O. Yes. <laughs> that's a great idea. That, that is not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. V VP aluminum props. See, there's all kinds of things. Yeah. My AMS is doing the thing again. The burp, burp. Yeah, yeah. I need to... Every once in a while, mine does it too, but it hasn't done it today. I need to update. Update. You do need to update. I have not updated in a while. Or greased my rods. It, it keeps saying, it's probably time for you to grease your rods. And I go, yeah, it did it. No. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> I did it. It's done. Trust me. <laughs> I've totally done it. Not 100% sure which ones you're talking about, but I agree. <laughs> Look, it'll tell me when it needs it. I, yeah, like, I know my I know my printer. <laughs> <laughs> We're fine. Don't worry. Oh, man. We're fine. Everything's fine. It's good. I'm ready. I'm dead set on this new. There's no pivoting now. We're we're moving forward. But I love uh, how you say we're moving forward. It's the royal we're because I have done nothing for this oh, project. Yeah, nothing. Surprise. <laughs> That's like hey, look. At least I had to assemble that. Okay, and I had to make all my own carbon fiber bits. So I am gonna just tack weld this thing together and be like. You figure out the rest. No, <laughs> don't. <laughs> like I don't have might, a... You can braise the rest of the joints. I don't have a media blasting booth, though. I need it to be perfect. Mm -hmm. I get it. So I can paint so, it and be done. We, we, we shall see. You may but, get it. Look, marketing and, managers don't braise, yeah, okay? okay. Like, these hands aren't made for... <laughs> <laughs> these, these, are, these hands are made for keyboard functions only. <laughs> <clears throat> Phoenix versus Fordyce, which is the better performer out of the box? Well, I guess RTR versus RTR. Out of the box, 
I would it's going to be four dice because the yeah, phoenix because it has the ability to add some extra functions, but out of the box, they're just locked out. So out of the box, the four dice is going to have less weight to it. It's also going to have no same time. It's going to be pretty close otherwise. Yeah. Thanks, Kenny. There you go. See? Kenny, Kenny's going to help me. It's a good thing that you have. It is a good thing you have friends in general. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my wife says the same thing all the time. It's a good thing you have friends. Yeah, <laughs> I am tired of hanging out with you. You are lucky. I just <laughs> <laughs> shut up. <laughs> uh, what is your go-to tube? Um, red or the uh, or uh, strawberry? Uh, Do DOM tube is what I meant. Uh, three sixteenths DOM tube. You can get it from a number of places. Scale metal supplies has it on occasion. Scale metal uh, uh, D what is uh, Ryan Garish's site? DS Pro, DS Pro, DS Pro, something like yeah, DS Pro online or something like that. Um, and I can't remember who else. I still, I still have a, a little bit. Matt's gonna have to buy some more. So yeah. I need some for sure. Yeah. <clears throat> DS Pro. Anyway, there's there's a number of places to find it, but it kind of depends. Sometimes supplies you have to move around and <laughs> yeah. Matt, are those friends in the room with us now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're all around me. Guys. <laughs> no, there's a have you ever seen them? There's a movie with uh, Ryan Reynolds where he's got like like his dog talks to him, and the, uh, he's a murderer, and like a psychopath. Anyway, it's just like, I can just imagine your whole box of heads underneath the table just talking to you. <laughs> that looks great, man. <laughs> You're the best billionaire <laughs> ever. Someone, someone, put down that movie. I know. <laughs> 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 uh, did it, either of you ever do a van build matt has done a van build uh i built a van coonigan esque uh the only van yeah. i have uh is unpainted and is used every single day by the cats uh right they basically you've got the pro line van don't you yes and they basically live in it deadpool no not deadpool he's he lives yeah, above deadpool. a bowling alley and he's like schizophrenic and, is it a Ryan Reynolds movie? Yeah. So good. Voices. Voices. Okay. The voices. It's it's absolutely worth watching. Okay. Find it. Watch it. There you go. You learned uh, I wanted to take this opportunity, though, to announce that I am also leaving Hoonigan. <laughs> It's been a good run, but you know what? I just uh, got to focus on me. I got some new ventures coming, some new builds. Yep. I don't really know how to make content, but we're going to do it anyway. Uh, I'm not saying those guys don't know how to make content. They absolutely do, but they all say they that. They absolutely do, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing in front of this camera. Yeah, or don't. I don't care. Whatever. No. Uh, <laughs> seeing Zach leave was... <sighs> that. <laughs> hey, Brandon. <laughs> hey, Brandon. Oh, yeah, let's open it. Okay, we can, since he's here, I put it away already. For Brandon. Let's see. I'm what so this. excited. Let's see what Brandon got. I still, uh, somebody was asking, I still have the van. Um, first of all, he got a Wea wrench something specific that's must be a reason behind that that looks cool looks like you use a, a um, down oh, okay. motion. there's an audi e-tron ah uh, nice focus uh brandon is an that audi sucks it does not i just have to after i don't know who told you to get sony cameras they're not yeah good. and that lens specifically which lens the Sigma 16. Yeah, that's a great, great lens. I'm not using that anymore, though. <laughs> the absolute <laughs> pile. 
They're like, here's the exact lens you must have. Yeah, you have to buy this lens exactly. Spend nine hundred dollars on this lens. Oh, that one's good. I'm using a Tamron seventeen to twenty eight on there. Oh, that is nice. Volkswagen T1 panel bus. That looks fantastic. Yeah, that's good. I don't like that it says Porsche on the side though, because it's not technically it's not a Porsche. It's all the same. <laughs> <laughs> uh i like the the van that says porsche that's a score that is absolutely yeah that's good perfection thank you he says and brandon did you see yeah did you yeah, see yeah, this yeah. You're welcome. probably <laughs> yeah that's right rob need need more volvos <laughs> I have all the Volvo. Need a Honda now. that says Volvo on the side. <laughs> Maybe like a Honda van, if the Honda Odyssey that says Volvo on the side. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would be a good one. It's solid. <laughs> um, so now that I've left Hoonigan, I have all kinds of time to focus on my own videos, uh, which is really good because. Did you see... uh, Go ahead. Soupy left as well, right? Yeah. 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 And he just did a short. Like, it's like a minute and a half. He's like, ah. Yeah, I'm up. Bye. <laughs> I don't know. So who, this is the, we can talk about this briefly, but this is the sort of thing that's come up in, in my business as well. The company that I used to work at like 10 years ago almost, uh, someone came in and they, they bought the whole operation. Because uh -huh. I guess, you know, the other partners, they were like, we're done. Things are not looking good money-wise. Please save our company. So this guy comes in and he buys it. And I don't think he understood how our business functioned. Yeah. Like he's like, well, I'm buying a, a like a media company so I can do like we can make, we'll keep doing the things that you guys are doing. That's great. But people started leaving. Okay. And then he goes, well, that doesn't matter. I still own this place. We can, we'll still make stuff. And everyone was like, no, you you bought a company, but you employ the talent. And when the talent leaves, you all of a sudden have nothing except yeah, rent. There, there is no more company. <laughs> so <clears throat> the same sort of thing has kind of happened at Hoonigan. And I mean, unfortunately, it started with Ken, RIP. Yeah. Um, but ultimately what happened is you had someone come in, make an investment in the company, throw a bunch of money at it, but right. then they expect that money back. So then you have to start getting sponsors and then things start to get a little bit like, this isn't feeling as au naturel as it was before. And some right. of the authenticity is gone. And then you have to satisfy those sponsors by having things in between to kind of make it work. And then everyone who you used to really like watching gets really tired of doing that same kind of content and format and then it just falls apart. Right. Yeah. And it's, uh, you know, there hasn't been anything really new from them in some time. Uh, this first, that off-road was the newest thing and that's, you know, not a big departure. I, I enjoy watching them. I still watch, I still watch all of this. First sure. That. It, it's not, yeah. they're not all gold. I'll tell you that. Um, but you know, it, and it, I, I hate, there was some programs of that Hoonigan produced that were some of my absolute favorite content. When they did the build and battles, I loved those series because there was like some actual fab and tech and it was so good. There was a lot of yep. guys that they had on which just did cool stuff. And I really, really liked those. They did two seasons of it and that was it. Like, damn it. Yep. yep. But yeah. Uh, Gears, thank you. Uh, no new camera. Where's all this loan money going? <laughs> yeah <laughs> yep, he's trying he's trying this, matt's got very high uh high expectations for his camera when he told me to buy i was like how about this one instead it's cheaper so and then the one i have doesn't fail as often as Matt's, but still fails. Yeah. Mine hasn't touched wood. We haven't done a long show in the heat and it hasn't failed in a while. Yeah. So 
things will definitely just get also, better on their own. I pulled the screen away from the from the body. Yeah. So it seems to some of the air goes up in there now. <laughs> uh, I really like the donut guys. I think they're they're doing good fun content. I think that they're they're not uh they're they're just embracing their position. They know they know what they know and they don't they know what they don't know. You know? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think that's that's what you should should do. That's I think that's a problem that so many channels fall into ever in everywhere. RC, yeah. non RC, is that some people trying to come in and be like DIY on uh what it here's a DIY on 3D printing. This is how you do it. Like you've had that 3D printer for three days. I know for a fact <laughs> you don't know how to use it. <laughs> like, yeah, like, look at this. I built a boat. This is called Bodhi. This is uh something pe people do. <laughs> And you can see here on my Bodhi that it's got a chimney, <laughs> and that chimney looks good. This is how you if that chimney is good. You're ready to print. Don't make. You can be like someone gave me a 3D printer, and I'm ready to learn. Like make that yeah. video. Don't make. Guess a, what my uh, 3D guess, print. What, guess what my boating video is going to be called. <laughs> I don't know anything about boats. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if they're good. I don't know if this one's good. I don't know. Yeah. Sure is fun. Yeah. I smiled. Winning. I smiled, I smiled a lot. It's a good boat. <laughs> Hope floats. <laughs> actually, that might be better. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> that's really good that's really good yeah <laughs> at, at the devil's watering hole <laughs> like ah. right, this obstacle we call this the devil's whirlpool I gotta write that down. Hope floats. That's really funny. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> did you know you can hit a curb with a boat? Here's the video. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, uh, this came up on Reddit today. Let's talk it or not today. Yesterday or the day before? Um, it was a. Uh, it posted in subreddit RC cars. Oh my which god! I know your favorite subreddit. It's mine too. Uh, I spend so much time in there trying to answer questions because I have so much extra time for it. Um, but somebody posted this question. We can actually we'll do a poll tonight because I think this is good. Okay. Uh, long and the short of it, a gentleman with a RC car wanted to do some bashing at a skate park like a okay. local skate park he goes to the skate park there's a couple of skaters doing yee yas and flippity doos yep. Yep. <laughs> but, yeah yeah <laughs> yeah yeah some triple sow cows and <laughs> whatever it is they do over there uh and uh they noticed this rc enthusiast and uh they came up to him and they're like Hey pal, we're kind of skating here. Uh huh. Would you mind getting effed out of here? Okay. Politely. Uh huh. And the guy was like, "Well, I'm just, you know, I'm just over here. Why don't you, you guys, just stay over there? If you come over here, I'll get out of the way." They're like, "No, we'd really prefer if you just left." Uh huh. And he was like, "Uh, am I the a hole for?" Now that's a better subreddit. Not leaving. Um, yes, that is a great subreddit. Absolutely, this is like an RC car. Am I the a hole? Now I feel like we should uh, just write down our response now. I I already had I I crafted a response and posted it in that thread, but I I don't need to write it down. Uh, I can just remember it. But let's start a poll. Do we have to do we have to do that on can we do that here? Yes. No, not in 
You have to do no. it on okay. your start. So how are you phrasing yours? Uh, I'm going to say start a poll. Start a poll. That's a uh, start. RC at a skate park. At a busy. Your, your asks. At, well, me. let's say at a skate park. Ask to leave. Do you leave? Do you do you leave? Yes or no? Done. Added. Okay. Okay. We'll start to that. Read. <laughs> 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 All right. So, uh, Zeph Gage. Uh, hey, Josh, will Vanquish ever build Ford 124 inch axles? Absolutely not. There you go. <laughs> Thank uh, you. No, we don't build Ford axles of any sort, actually. Um, Would you build like, any likely. sort of 24 scale axle? Uh, not likely. Okay. As much as yeah, I. As, as much the RC unofficial as marketing doing. manager, yeah, uh, we're not allowed to comment on future products here at Vanquish Products. Even if we were releasing it tomorrow, I wouldn't tell we're you. We're still not going to say a word. Um, the uh, I was actually last night. I'm working on. I need a new knuckle for my 124 scale axles because I want to adjust the width slightly. And with my current design, I'm pretty much stuck. So I've decided that I'm going to reverse engineer the entire knuckle, 3D print it, incorporate the things that I want to, and then have it metal 3D printed. So that's going to give me all of the benefits that I need all at once, and then I'm set. So okay. that is, but I was just sitting there last night going, man, <laughs> doing all that work. And I was just like, I wonder if I should, we should just, I was like, no, we're not gonna machine this. No, we're not. <laughs> I'm just gonna have the metal 3D printed because I need I need two. Well, gunner as well, probably. So four okay. knuckles. <laughs> All right. Hope floats. Hope. <laughs> Jetwave 78. You only leave if your exo catches fire. <laughs> I still have an exo to build. I do I have I one should build, build it mainly. Not 100%, but mainly. You guys got to get me those parts that you still have. I do still have some parts. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> it would depend on if they ask me nicely or not. Now, mm. uh, uh, I, don't, I would not want to I would not want to get into a fight with a group of skateboarders. Because I've seen a lot of fights where a skateboarder just whips your, their skateboard at you. And I don't yeah. want a face full of dick. <laughs> skateboard dick. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I want a video of Matt throwing the boat in the snow and asking, what do now? <laughs> <laughs> That's not what you said last night. <laughs> Man, I hope that dude's kid is not watching anymore. I hope he got bored. I hope they got really bored. <laughs> Why metal 3D printed about? and not machined? And so it sounds like axles are coming. Uh, metal 3D printed because I can just hit click buy and I don't have to like go to gym and be like, hey, could you spend several hours programming this part for my tiny truck that we're, we don't do anything about? Like, Jim, 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 stop all that other stuff you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> stop all that really, stop all that stuff. That makes money for us. Yes. Stop it. Uh, uh, Pull out the plug. Hit the stop button on production. Uh, and I need this. Flashing. Can we make this, please? And I need, and then once you're done with that, 
I need you to make the opposite side. And I know that is it's the same part, just mirrored. So you should just be able to mirror everything. I know that's not how it works, and that you have to actually just do all that work again. But <laughs> there's no mirror option. Not really. It's not like our Bamboo Labs X1 no. Carbon. No. <laughs> As the marketing manager, <laughs> I would not allow that to happen. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> where is this? Matt showing up to a skate park. How do you how do you do, fellow classmate friends? Hello, fellow <laughs> youths. Skateboard. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> to deck to face, not face to. This show has gone severely off the rails. <laughs> Marilyn Manson had two ribs removed so he could skate better. You know that? <laughs> he could do some kick-ass ollies now. His yeah. kickflips are out of control. Uh, <laughs> skateboarders. This guy's a cop. This guy's <laughs> He's a he's a narc. Get him out of here. <laughs> Matt shows up in Huff gear with an RC car. Poser. <laughs> What's up, youths? <laughs> Guys, Timothy, that's a bumper sticker I've ever heard. <laughs> no one will understand it. They will have had to have watched this Thanks. episode. <laughs> Face full of deck. What does that mean? Did he fall down outside? <laughs> on his on his back deck? <laughs> hey, that's yeah. the guy who races carts with us. <laughs> you still got your kitchen gloves on? <laughs> 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 uh, that's great <laughs> is he bad at spelling yeah exactly <laughs> uh, so good oh god yeah i'm okay it's fine yeah stickers actually arrive tomorrow um uh, spoiler alert so be ready be that ready link could go live at any time be there's aggressive. some good ones in there all of the uh, the badges of honor are what I'm most proud of this time. I, I've been meaning to do those for a while, so I've got them for all of the devil's obstacles. Excellent. Excellent. Little, little tiny badges you can stick on the side of your truck. <laughs> ah, devil's butt crack. Perfect. <laughs> I've been waiting for that one. <laughs> one of the hardest trails out there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, those are gonna be great i'm really excited about that that's that's pretty excellent i fully, fully agree with that. <laughs> remember <laughs> matt's the guy that left a hiking trail because there was too many people <laughs> yeah they were looking at acorns remember <laughs> yeah welcome to acorn discussion <laughs> uh. oh god we had a uh, comp this last weekend down it yeah down the dude i watched that one uh because i watch all of your videos yeah liar uh no i do i do it just sometimes it takes me a little while um because i can't stand to look at your stupid face uh, <laughs> but uh that area was amazing where was that yeah it's uh it's the ponderosa bridge but it's like an hour from here oh uh, that's amazing it's like you know 15 minutes from brandon so wow do you guys do a lot of testing out there? Is that where you go? Uh, no audio. That's. I was asking if my mic stopped. <laughs> yeah, I read your lips. Just made a noise. Uh, no, we don't test down there very often. Just, you know, it's a little bit out of the way. If we're testing, we can get to places that are just so much more convenient than that. Normally, okay. we're not just. But we've filmed there before for release videos. Yes. I thought and, I recognized it. Uh, it looked like a blast. Holy cow. It's a good spot. So much fun. So, 
that was that was a blast. Had a good day there. And uh, Carbon did great. I did the stubby kit on it. Still not available. And uh, <laughs> I, I think I actually I messaged you last night. I said you better hold on to a couple of those for when they come in. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. Oh, why a ten o'clock alarm? Oh wait, first. Turbo Row, thank you very much. Yes, stickers. I have many Lexan bodies to modify. I actually have to reset the sign again because I did put the badges on the Volvo. Yeah. Which I think we can definitely, those are hard badges. They're not just stickers. Those, that's full on mod. And I adjusted the back wing. I lifted it up a little bit. So that's a Lexan modification. We mm -hmm. should also show those ones too. Which are uh, uh, just yep. so. Awesome. Yes. Oh, I guess you know what also, Josh? Is taking off a sticker a modification? I mean, just as much as putting one on, I think. Because <laughs> I'm not part of Hoonigan anymore. I left. <laughs> I left. I'm still gonna be part, like still gonna be well, you there. know, still, still you know. Yeah, I'll still be a, you know, I'll help them out. Uh why a 10 o'clock alarm? Great question. Josh put me onto this. Uh, this 10 o'clock. This is, it yeah, is, go ahead. Tell everyone your method. If you're in like a night person, like, like you, you're super productive at night, especially that's just kind of like, you know, more so than a morning person. 10 o'clock is like the perfect time to be like, hey, it's 10 o'clock. So be aware of the time and either decide to try and get some stuff done and be wrapped up at a reasonable hour or be like, hey, it's 10 o'clock. Maybe I'll wind down early night, but it's the perfect time. It's like, hey, you got a couple more hours of work you can get done? Or like, you know what? We'll call it quits a little bit early. Otherwise, ten. Other, it just blows by and I look down the clock and it's 1 a.m. already. It's like, God, yeah. you just need that barometer. Be like, hey, oh, this is, you now you know right now. I also I'm do going. an 11 a.m. one now as well. So 11 a.m., 10 p.m. <laughs> yeah, that's your actual getting up alarm. <laughs> <laughs> well, better get started to go get ready for work. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair i went to work today at 12 30 so and i just i sat down and ate my lunch <laughs> i we were going to the bay this morning so like jim texted me last night he's like hey you want to go to this show in the morning or show tomorrow in the bay uh, i was like yeah sure let's go and he's like leave by eight and i was like yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> You, I called it like you mean like you leave your house by eight. Yeah. <laughs> I called it like eight oh five. I'm like, hey, I'm not too far away, but uh, I'm gonna stop at Starbucks, or we're gonna stop as soon as we leave. So what do you want me to do? <laughs> there by like eight twenty five. Right, like, <laughs> what are we waiting on? Uh, I would say Matthew stripping paint from Alexa and body is definitely modifying it. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> 10 o'clock alarm wife said oh, gosh <laughs> it's, it's so perfect helpful. It's so everybody helpful. that i know understands it and appreciates it mm -hmm. yep it's worth it worth it yeah definitely <laughs> all right should we see how this poll has ended up yeah let's do that end, end poll poll so and we've got 62 percent said yes when asked to leave, you leave. Exactly the same results here. 62% yes, 37% wow. no. My answer was also yes. When asked to leave, you leave. Because here's the thing. I know that a lot of people will probably say this is the same about RC. But skaters have very few places that they are actually allowed to skate. And I would say the same the for skate RC. skate park... Yes, yes, in in especially in the United States of America. It seems like you guys, any state park I've ever been to, they're like, get that thing out of here. You get out. <laughs> I've been I've been kicked out of state parks. Um well not kicked out, politely asked to not do that anymore. Fine. But um skaters ha are you know pretty persecuted. They can't really go anywhere so the one place where they can go and that like it's like sacred ground if they're there i'm not going to drive an rc car if there's nobody there and it's like the dead of winter 
I'm driving my RC car there all the time. But if someone shows up and they want to skate, sayonara. So uh, I wrote down on this. Uh, it's not called an RC park. Uh, yes, exactly. So therefore, I now, first off, I don't want to drive an RC car in front of a bunch of skaters either for like that. <laughs> just for the that, same like, reason that I walk nerd, away with that, getting like, my drone. I don't, I don't want that. But the question that someone said about like, depends on how they ask that specifically is a great question because I yes. am spiteful. So I know you are. Yes. <laughs> uh, now I probably wouldn't even have to be asked if someone else was there. Now, if I was there first and I was in an area and someone came and was skating and they just were staying at that end and like, just were All they looked, good. I would probably be like, okay, someone else is here. I'm going to wrap it up here. Exactly. Fairly yep. soon. Or, now, or worst case scenario, I'll go and approach them and be like, Hey, is it cool if if I stay over here? Are you cool if I just run a few more, you know, ollies with my RC car and then you know, talk their language? Talk I'm language. absolutely not asking. I'm not. I don't want to <laughs> have a conversation with you. I just don't want to do it. Like, I don't want to know about your <laughs> board. If they come over and are like looking and don't start talking to me about your deck. Like, I don't want to. I don't want to talk. If they come over and are like hanging out, like look, at, like I'll be like, "Hey, you cool?" Like, yeah, is this all like, right? Other, but if they are just straight up, like off the rip, a dick, maybe I then I know open yeah, my car door I, while I know you're you. on the bike lane. Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I know how Josh operates, but no, like, like I think that's the thing. It's not an RC park. It's for skateboarders yeah. <laughs> and at the worst outside edge scooter guys <laughs> or rollerbladers. <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I thought it was interesting because the guy, the guy who, who ants, who started the thread, he was like, yeah, you know what? Based on the responses here, you're totally right. I probably should have just packed it up and left. Okay. So that guy didn't an RC park. Uh, I guess not. No, but he he kind of got the message that he should have left, so he did. Wow! Leave. And he actually responded that way. Normally, yeah. uh, people who are like, "Am I the?" and they put that up, they will never. No, they don't rationalize down. with the other side. No, like nope. I I was like, "You're you're not the a hole," but you know, like you got to give them a bit of respect and understand that this is one of the only spaces they get to do this. You can go to a parking lot or you can go to a field presumably what let's hear it May mayhem rc skateboards like i'm in i wait we talked about this ages ago the fuck? yes no yeah yes we talked about a shoe. maybe i i talked about a shoe which i still want to do maybe i talked to my guy at Huff about it actually. I think that's yeah. who I talked like like Bash your skateboards. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a skateboard with a Creighton underneath it. <laughs> it's hidden as best we can. Yeah. <laughs> 24 hours, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Like, how much time could we really spend on that? Like, yeah, exactly. It's a skateboard. Who do we get to send us a car? Who have I pissed off the least? Well, that list is short. I know. <laughs> I'm also lucky to have friends because they're like, all right, we'll send, we have to send him one too. Like, you guys are both going to do this. Like, so, like, one to each of you. It's a package. Yeah. It's a package deal. You've got to send one to Josh if you're going to send I'm one just, to me. I'm just peeking around Matt's shoulder. Hey, pretty lady. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you so. discussed it with your friends in that room. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great yeah, everybody idea. Back, everybody back here heard it. 
Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think we could. And then we, we can figure that out. You go drive Calvin, your RC, but with Calvin your helmet. didn't do it. He did, he a, did like snowboard. a snowboard. Yeah, and it was. And it wasn't. Weird. It wasn't just. It wasn't to be a snowboard. It was just because he needed a really long deck. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Berlarlo would do it. Uh, nah, I don't. I, I bet you we could convince Arma. Those things. Those things are not Arma. waterproof. <laughs> <laughs> Not well, not to your level of waterproof, it's splash proof, not yeah, upside down in the water for five minutes proof. Yeah, so you know, <laughs> let's do it just so yeah. you know. 24 hours, let's do it, do it, Cardi Fine. Fuller, do it. Fine. Uh, do you have to like, do you have to go into the into the you have to what are we yeah. gonna do with them? You're gonna ride it? We just wear the helmets and elbow pads and knee pads and drive it. <laughs> <laughs> we chase it around like we just fell off of it and like oh god <laughs> all right yeah i think we're good that's good okay. i like done it. <laughs> Chris Gibbs, thanks very much. RC Excitement is having a Go Scale Day. Uh, Go Scale Day, May 4th. Attempting a world record for the most RC four wheel drive RCs in one place. So, how many would you need? <laughs> how many do they all have to be running? Because <laughs> I don't even think the warehouse will pass them. Uh, can I bring a lot of pens? <laughs> This live stream ruined my entire life. <laughs> the, speaking of the pens, it's a problem now because I had the box of RC four wheel drive pens from Gunner near my desk. And I was gone that day and they were taking shit from away from my desk. And now they keep using them at work and they're like, they're shooting the RC four wheel drive <laughs> pen caps. Jim wouldn't stop doing it on the live stream the other day. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That's amazing. Ooh. <laughs> Should have to be able to do a rail slide and a grind. Yes. Agreed. Ooh. And a an, uh, McTwist. Ooh, McFlurry. Mm. <laughs> Let's go get some ice cream. Yeah, I want ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is excellent. All right. Yeah, this is great. I feel like this is it. This is our mayhem for a 24 hour mayhem for this year. For this month? Next month. Next month. Not this. No, not next month either. Let's do it what? after nationals or it's 24 crawling. hours. Dude, no. I'm very busy at work again. It's a weekend. Nope. I work on the weekends. You do not. Yes, I do. Most of the time, unfortunately, I do. Yeah. Uh, uh, skateboard and MOA setups? Absolutely not. That's nope. terrible. Negative. MOAs are not made to go fast. Uh, nope. I bet you you could do it with the sledge. The sledge is the aluminum chassis one? Yeah. Agreed. Because you can mount it pretty easily. Yeah. Mount that deck. <laughs> Tony Hawk can judge it, but only if you can do a kickflip. <laughs> and don't forget to take, take your cholesterol medicine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on Olestra. Uh, <laughs> that was sad. <laughs> uh, Spaz Matt, did you get Turks and Jerps gene smuggling machine? I sure did. What? I did. It's uh, this guy right over here. Okay, what is that? Is that a is that that's a King his, Kong? That's a King Kong. It is. Yeah. Didn't I show this on like our show? Oh, uh, it's so heavy. It's all metal and wood. <laughs> I don't I think. You, I don't think so. No. Oh wait, maybe you did. Yeah. This is 
East Germany's favorite cat and mouse team, Worker and Parasite. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> what the hell was that? That's what Krusty says after he watches the episode. <laughs> and the bumper sticker I put on the back. Keep Smiggins beautiful. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and see, that's that's where all the counterfeit jeans are. Jesus. Just get an electric skateboard and convert it. Convert it? No! Why? why would you do that? That's For one, fun. they're not made to turn. That's stupid. Like, they don't turn at all. Yeah, like that's a uh, <laughs> Josh. Josh doesn't watch up. your videos. He means Josh doesn't watch our videos. Yeah, this video. I was here for it. I get. I do remember that now, though. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh God. Yep. I remember thing. I. I where it's okay. Oh my goodness. Uh, well, excellent. The Max thing. Slash was another good choice. I yeah. think you got to go for something that's got an aluminum chassis because I think it's it just help easier to, to kind of hide and mount and graft. It's everything made, yeah, it's made to be able to graft bulkheads to something already. So yeah, I would fully agree. Um, yeah, but I think we could make just about anything work. It's just going to take more cutting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just more hacksaw. <laughs> so I think we can do this for sure. Yeah. I'm Johnny Knoxville. This is RC Skateboard. <laughs> it's just you like going as fast as you can and then just cracking kids right in the face. <laughs> Crack! <laughs> yes! Uh, yeah. <laughs> you got a dart in your neck. <laughs> you're, you're Lucky's RC Adventure. <laughs> no, you're, you're, you're crazy, man. I like you. You're crazy. I like you. You're crazy. <laughs> Yes. When's the full? I uh, love the new thumbnail, guys. When's the full <laughs> Pixar film? We're gonna do the animated version of Flying Cars. Yes. Oh, think of what you could do if it was animated. Just this is excellent. You can make that girl age appropriate. <laughs> First thing. First age thing. Age appropriate. Age appropriate love interest. <laughs> uh, and she doesn't work at the hobby shop. She owns it. And she's much more bitter. She's like her dad. <laughs> and he has a house that's held up by balloons. <laughs> and that's what happened to her mom. Yes. <laughs> what she mom? was in the balloon she's house. Dead. <laughs> she died he, in the balloon house. And he's house sad and the it. house is going to float away if we don't sell enough cars today. <laughs> the bank is going to take the house with the balloons. <laughs> What'd you do? I don't. I don't even know That's where this came T60. from. It's an XT60 charge lead. Do you, oh, you don't even have a yeah. charger that uses bullet plugs. Not anymore. I don't. Where did this come from? Oh, I know. When I pulled out the multimeter, it must have been. I see how that could get confused. Yeah. <laughs> For the longest time, I was. I wasn't getting any readings. <laughs> no wonder you couldn't figure it out. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Can you make uh, whale sounds? <laughs> Terrible. Great movie. Uh, it Up still needs the classic down. line, Drew, you're such a loser. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that name. <laughs> I hate that name. You got rid of that like charger. <laughs> I feel like we've uh, we've missed some episodes discussing flying cars. Yeah, there's been at least I'd say the last like six. We probably yeah. didn't talk about it. I uh, need to refresh our <clears throat> our passion for that movie and rewatch. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so uh, the, they sell kits to make your own skateboard decks. I mean, they have 24 hours, Josh. Yeah, Josh, come 24 on. hours. I'm buying a deck. I'm going to go down to the store and I'm going to buy one. Yeah. I'm and the guy looking at one. me, I'm going to buy it at the skateboard store. And yeah. The so guy he's like, well, what do you like? I'm like, I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> like, what I don't do you like want. It? Do you like it? How do you buy Do you like a flexible board? Flexible? Yeah. 
Like it long? How long? <laughs> it's amazing. Like I don't know. I don't just give me a give, give me a goddamn skateboard. Yeah. It was like, well, you're gonna same. need like you're gonna need trucks and you're gonna yeah. need we I'm like, nope, I don't need any of that stuff. Nah. <laughs> Although actually, no, we probably do need the wheels. Because I still want it to look like a skateboard. I think that's part that that's on you. You gotta figure out how you're gonna do that. Oh man. This is gonna be hard. It's gonna be worth it. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. And then they uh, can't kick you out because it's a skateboard. That, exactly. That's the whole thing. See, that asshole is gonna make a great video. <laughs> Then you can go necro post that thread and be like, see, look what I did. <laughs> I hacked the planet on that one. <laughs> oh my God. What's, where's this? You guys need to do a mystery science theater 2000 style video watching flying cars. I wish we could, but we get in so much trouble. You know, we got in trouble for playing a clip. We both Ridiculous. got demonetized for that entire episode. Almost a copyright strike. We got a I lost 18 cents. I know. It was... <laughs> some, somebody owes me that quarter inflation. So... <laughs> <laughs> Aardvark explain. Do a live thing on your site with two of you doing a Mystery Science 3000 stream on flying cars. I, wonder, I don't know how we could do it off-platform. We'd have to have our own streaming server. Which you can do with StreamYard. Oh. Because it's a, you can do it as a webinar. And we pay for the upgraded That's one. That's true. We do pay for the upgraded one. Which I think it's limited to like maybe 400 people or something like that. Which, how many people are going <laughs> to no watch problem. playing cards? <laughs> the whole movie? <laughs> Yeah, like, mm, you guys are not that interesting ever. You mean other than the two of us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, hitting us with some knowledge here. It's not the same shapes and size. If it's street, freestyle, ramp, then you have the penny or lot. Oh, God. I can feel like this is going to be the worst. I'm going to film this entire conversation at the skate store. Oh, absolutely. You know what? Hello. That's good. That's going to be part of it. You can't own the skateboard before the 24 hours starts. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> that should be okay. an easy rule for me to <laughs> not worry about. <laughs> Start the clock. I'd like a skateboard, please. Thank you. Get me out of here. Wait, you need all the other stuff. Shut your stupid mouth. Yeah, like, I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> Do it on Discord. RC Madness Mini Truck Club. Thank you. I think you guys owe us the 18 cents. <laughs> Hell no. That movie has generated so much money for itself. We should actually, you know what? I could reach out to the producer again and be like, hey, is there a way that we can do this? Can you give us like a music free version of the, yeah. of, the, of, the, of, the of the video? But, like, there must be one. Yeah, and you you can join us even, and we can just grill you on your decision <laughs> throughout this entire. So who thing. wrote this? Who wrote this pile? Yeah, like, like Rachel, something car, what, RC oh, car, RC heart. car heart. <laughs> yeah, I know. My name's RC Carhart. I get it. I'm also sixteen. <laughs> They didn't think it was so funny in grade school. <laughs> what, last week? All right. <laughs> These are the worst nerds I've ever watched. <laughs> Next one to no one. Oh, my God. Well, I'm. Uh, we're dead set on this. Uh, we're going to do yeah, it in we're doing three it. weeks. No! Three weeks is the worst time for me to be doing this. I'll tell you when we'll do it, okay? Listen, I've got nothing going on. So <laughs> I'm just going to be home, not doing anything. 
Oh, you have to uh, you have to arrange uh, cars for us of some sort. What? Huh? Okay, you have sure. to arrange cars. I don't care. Who Alrighty, cares. fine. Make it make it so. Listen, Linda. <laughs> Linda, that's a like, Linda. Linda, listen, 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 listen Linda. Linda, <laughs> Linda. Oh my God. Is Why does really everyone great? suck in that movie? <laughs> the Honestly, only one who doesn't suck is the fiance. fiance. She's the best one. She's and the guy who runs the film company that he works for. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what, uh, what are you doing? I got this drum in Africa. <laughs> like, he's kind of interesting. Like, definitely a douche. Probably drives a Porsche Boxster. But absolutely. Like, like come on. Yeah. <laughs> Justin Candler, thank you. Josh, let's see your personal rig you take to the rocks. Depends on the day. He's got too oh. many. <laughs> the, honestly, the ones that I have are not in here because they're dirty. The ones that are in yeah. here, I do not run on the rocks very often because they're like they're oh shit, they're my lights are display down. trucks. Damn uh -oh. it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, damn it anyway. Uh, yeah, what's her face? It was the best. Thanks very one. much, her her Justin. Name. But I don't. The ones that I take the rocks are not in here. <laughs> also, Perry G. Uh, just to let you know, Saturday is the big five zero for me. Whoa! I wear a size VRD stance. <laughs> Sadie, I hate that name. Uh, uh, Perry G. Happy birthday! Um, happy birthday, Perry. I mean. Kind of happy, like I get it. It's like birthday. It was uh, it was nice knowing you. R.I.P. Um. <laughs> not dead. I, I mean, fifty yet. <laughs> fifty. God, I'm close to that too. Ugh. Hey, hey Thomas Music. Hello. Got home late, but I wasn't going to do anything until I laid up at least one Suga. Oh, my God. <gasps> wow. Wow. That's a uh, that's big that's day. That's exciting. Send me some pics. That's. Of it. That's Damn, exciting. Thing. That's exciting. Holy shit. There's a lot of deck talk tonight. <laughs> you missed oh. a lot of talk about decks. <laughs> Um, have we talked give about your suga give me time? Some suga. Give me some suga. Uh, <laughs> have we I'll talked be about your my suga daddy? Oh yeah. yes, <laughs> suga daddy. It's a pretty good bumper sticker. <laughs> but you can Jeremiah's... only put it on yeah. the suga. <laughs> Jeremiah's always like, I have a problem. I've been three D printing parts for my WBLD twelve right now, and I'm pretty printing your bumpers. I can't stop. That's the problem with those. WPLs like there's so many 3D printed parts you can make. They just, it's like what do I what do yeah. I do? But what do I need now? Cheap entertainment. It's just I know it's even space. cheaper. Yeah, these guys. <laughs> Are they cheaper? I don't know. How much is that? I don't remember. Like more than fifty bucks. Uh, Canadian. Okay, well, then it might be very close. It's got a differential. Yes, it does. I know because I drove it briefly before I disassembled it. Hey, there's Tony. Hey, oh. Tony. I was thinking Tri about you today. No, it's Tri bikes. <laughs> Justin, thank you. Uh, show your block van. Uh, Where is your block well, van? It's in the other room. You were supposed Super to ship tech. it. You're supposed to ship it to me. Is, do you want that thing still? Yeah. You're not going to sell it. No. Say, you're not going to sell it. No. Like you did with the cilantro. Oh, well, that was I gave for you flip. That, that was for flip that truck. I gave you that, I gave you that I, truck to flip, to build. I didn't know you were going to flip it. I didn't know anybody would want it. I'm just kidding, of course. I'll be right back. I'll go get okay. it. Aardvark explain at Perry G. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
some real Spartan energy you've got there, Ardmark Spleen. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Uh, Monster RC skateboards for opera. They need to look like skateboard stuff. It's you know, it's close. Like <laughs> what a pal. <laughs> exactly. That's 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 some that's some good friends. Josh, read it, Josh. He paid. <laughs> are people sell are people like making offers on the van. Uh, no, they're talking about uh, the super chat that I didn't fully read from Ardvark's plane, but <laughs> <laughs> that you know, that dude is also Canadian, yeah, from Vancouver. <sighs> I, so I did start listening to that one, and uh, I was so uncomfortable I had to turn it off. Yeah, I, I was just like, no. I haven't listened to that one because I am uncomfortable. I can't. It makes me third hand embarrassed. Oh, Tony wants to know about the Lexan accident. Uh, Jeep. What did I do? Jeep. 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 Soup. The Jeep. the Hamish storm. Hamish storm. Hemi Storm gave me some wood. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, let's see. Here's the Huda van. Oh, you have you actually have to send it to me now because you what? left. What? What do you mean? You left. You what do you mean I left? Me? Oh yeah, I'm gone. I, I'm there. I'm not there anymore. I'm you got to return company property. So <laughs> it's a TRX four sport. Sport, yeah, single gear, no shifting. Yes. Lock diffs, uh, custom painted diff covers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I put really awesome King shocks on there from RC four wheel drive. Everybody knows them the best. Um. Inner fenders in the rear, but not up front because they won't fit with this body. An interior panel from Night Customs. I even got a nice curtain in the back. It's yeah. hard to see, but there's <laughs> a curtain <laughs> to hide things. It's got a uh, nice brushless uh, spectrum system in there, and my trick RC light kit, and uh, goes like stink in the snow. It's a lot of fun. The good news got a light is bar. Yeah, it's got a light bar and a Ford grill. Uh, that grill looks a little Chevro nice. Ford grill. Yeah, it's a little bit. I just noticed I, I, that. I noticed that. I saw you not trying to acknowledge it. <laughs> <laughs> that little guy. Nah, we don't worry about that little. Yeah, that's fine. Don't worry about that. That's all right. <laughs> I think I probably busted one of the mounts when I was installing it, but I'll shoe goo that into place. All right, <laughs> so there you go, Van. This is the. Uh, this van body is the uh, charisma. charisma wolf. No prairie coyote. Same thing. <laughs> it's often that's often what they call wolves. Sure. They're yeah. Pra prairie coyotes. Is it really called a prairie yeah. coyote? Yeah, I think so. Is hmm. it for sale? No, it is not for sale. No, nope. I left Hoonigan, but Hoonigan hasn't left me. <laughs> Yes, that's paint job. Thank you, Tony. That paint job is so good. I agree. That, that, that is quite the charisma prairie dogger. <laughs> you know, you know what? Dogger. Don't go dogging. Dogger. Don't go dogging in the United Kingdom. No. I mean, maybe do if you, that's what you're into. Not here to judge. Not here to judge. <laughs> if you do. Uh, if you do glue that on, would that be working with Lexan? It absolutely would, Tony. Yep, I right. agree, Tony. But he had already—he's already mentioned that he has to reset it yet again. Did I miss a super chat? I did. Did you? I did. Uh, I missed two. T thirty four mech. Thank you. Might buy an RC on Scale Builders Guild. From whom? Um, probably one of your subscribing members so that they have a star mm. so that they have access to such a thing on Excellent. a forum. Hopefully. Do they have, do they have maybe, to mail? Do, do they have to mail their subscription yep. money to you for a star? They, they send me a self-addressed stamped envelope 
and I send them a badge <laughs> with a code on it. And that code you have to enter into a website. <laughs> Every 10 seconds, that website, it changes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's from Cisco Systems. Um, thank you. Thomas Bialzik, thank you. My wife watched Matt's Fusion Ascent video and asked me if the Devil's Blank were actual official names. I answered I, yes. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yep. That's what all of those are called. Honestly, <laughs> probably my fire is about to change drastically. <laughs> I'm afraid so. Uh oh. Prairie Why, Wolf. What are we doing? Prairie Wolf. What did I call it? Prairie Coyote. Prairie <laughs> Coyote. And I called it just a wolf. And then I said, well, no. Actually... Yeah. Did you call it? I thought you called it the coyote. I called it the wolf. No. Let me go back. I can't remember what I called it now. Everyone, please give your honest account of how I was right. I mean, kind of. Um, that's one of the coolest RCs. Well done, Matt. Thanks very much, Tony. I appreciate Tony. you so much. I, Tony, Tony, I've been thinking about you a lot. We got to get you back on the show because I miss you. I haven't, I haven't spoken to you. Or watched any of your content in a very long time. <laughs> oh, oh, that actually brings up. An I'm episode. just kidding. I watched. I actually, uh, Tony and Pablo do a live show on Tuesdays. That yeah, I talk often, your face off. I often sit and enjoy. I watched the whole one yesterday live. Um, I'm not I got, for. I'm not much for live streams. I <laughs> I honestly love live streams. I love lamp. <laughs> <laughs> so. I I got this email uh, on Monday. All right, <laughs> and it says, "I'll be honest. I've never heard of you until today. When about, when about twenty people told me I should see see if you're interested in building one of my projects." Uh, and then it goes on to discuss the project that he has designed to make. It's a three D printed a three D printed project, basically. <laughs> but why do you open? emails like that <laughs> i don't really watch your you like you can say it to tony because we know tony and you'd be like hey <laughs> i don't watch your stupid <laughs> tiny truck i don't junk. watch your stupid but... videos either <laughs> t40 oh from me oh right i did say dm me yes uh yeah i might have something for you oh there you go uh <laughs> Any purple in the future. Uh, the only purple that you will see in the future will be in a trucks of something. That is the only way that I'm doing purple. I will not, you will not see purple for sale on a site. Not a thing. You will only see it, and you will only be able to get it by chance. And chance alone. Or paying out the nose to collectors. Do you, yeah. Do you remember uh, there was a movie with Jean-Claude Van Damme? Bloodsport. His name was Chance. In the movie, because he was from the Bayou, he was from Louisiana, <laughs> so that's why his French accent worked. Well, he's not French; he's Belgian, right? Okay. Muscles from Brussels, Belgium. Is that where Brussels is? Where's Brussels a country? Anywho, uh, his accent worked, <laughs> kind of, okay. and the the girl interest in the movie. I can't remember the name of the movie. The girl goes. What kind of a name is Chance? And he goes, well, my mama took one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> took one, what, like a deck? Took a chance. <laughs> took a chance. My mama took one. <laughs> Lionheart. Was that the name of the movie? Belgium one? is a country. <laughs> yes. <Okay>. <laughs> We're both. <laughs> Absolutely, chance because his okay. mama took one. <laughs> so dumb, Turbo Row. I feel like Matt has more orange trucks than Josh. Well, this is yellow, this one's orange, and I got this one because Josh didn't get it. Yeah, I got green, and Matt got an orange. I have an orange bug there, I have the orange wood runner there. I'm counting all my orange trucks. Hang on. Technically, that might be orange. I'll I'm going to count this one. 
One, two, three, four, five. I agree with Josh Toth here. That is not yellow. That six, is absolutely yeah, it's orange. orange. Yeah, it's orange. Six, seven, eight. I have eight orange trucks in this room. Oh, I think I have two orange trucks, period. <laughs> Unless you suck at this game, you're supposed to be better at this. Yeah, I have reduced the amount of trucks that I have in this room. I barely. I am trying out. to reduce the trucks I have. Period. I have yeah. too many things. Uh, I way too many few, things. I gave away a few this weekend, so I'm gonna have to do. Uh, I'm gonna have to do some uh, Facebook Marketplace, I think, because there's a lot oh. of stuff I have. That I don't think I could sell online and like you, ship. Yeah, I know what you mean, but God, it's I know it's the worst. RCP73, hope to meet you at BTC. Is this RCP that does uh, the custom links for the uh, 24 scale stuff? Is that, am I getting that right? Yeah, Correct me if I'm wrong. J. No, oh DK, God. that's not for sale right now. You have other <laughs> things. Aren't you trying to sell trucks to buy other real trucks? Right. <laughs> you have friends. friends. <laughs> you should feel lucky. <laughs> Thanks, Kenny. Do you want some of these trucks? <laughs> Not me. Okay. Well, still. I'm pretty. Oh, wait. That's RC Steve. And it's maybe like RC Steve 70. <laughs> that was close. Not me. Either way, I hope to meet you there as well. Pete? Not Steve? I'll call you Not Steve when I meet you. Hey, not Steve. That's my bad. See? Oh, the yeah. FMS Blazer. Oh, are we going to talk about that? Can sure, about that? that's good because then we have to do some talk about some things. Formula. That, uh, yeah. Okay. And some betting. Yes, I made bets. Our I found Steve a betting site that has betting now. That sounds about right. The Steve is silent. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Uh, okay, okay, anyway. All uh, right, so FMS, FMS FCX10. <laughs> yeah. Now, <laughs> I think some people thought I was very harsh in my review of that truck. I wanted to absolutely talk about that more as well. Okay. I don't understand why people... And I, I, I mean, with full respect here, this truck is not an original effort. No. So far as I can tell, it looks so similar to things that we've already got. It that is came a TRX six it years a, ago. It's a copy of a TRX four. It was very clear when I saw it in September. <laughs> like, right. It is, and anybody who decides to gloss over that is is obviously not for whatever reason have decided to just close their eyes to it yeah none of the parts are transferable nothing goes from one to yeah, the other they did a yeah. bad job at copying <laughs> <laughs> but this they took all the benefits of what they did and threw them out the window <laughs> it looks so similar and the layout is the same where they put the battery tray where they put the transmission where they put the servos for doing all this shifting stuff. This is I think people <laughs> not even close. I think <laughs> a lot of people also forgot that when I did my initial review of the TRX4, the full function one that came out six years ago, uh -huh. I wasn't a big fan of that one either. And I'm still not. I much prefer the simplicity of the sport. I don't like all that extra stuff. I get that there is a scale aspect to it. And I understand that that is fun. I get that completely. But when things don't work as expected, and this did not work as expected, I'm not going to, I'm not going to not tell you that. Like I have, like as my responsibility as a reviewer is to share that information. And if it's something that, you know, is just like a, a weird anomaly, that happens sometimes. Sometimes right. a truck ends up in the hands of a reviewer and it doesn't work right. But I've had people comment 
saying, I had the exact same problem. I had the exact same problem as you. It sat on the bench. It worked fine. I took it outside. It didn't work anymore. So yeah, it's the thing is that it is wild when you get a truck and post review and it's not just positive. Like for one, Matt got the, you get the truck from a company, you, mm -hmm. you get it. And then it's like, Hey, this wasn't, this wasn't up to something I would purchase. And like, you, you know, you're not paid, but like you're given something and yep. still are, you still decide to say, Hey, not what I, and not just be like, you know what? This is pretty good. This is pretty good. And people are just like, you're this, that's so dumb. You're so, so being, you're so doing, it's just like, why are you watching a review video then? If you just want to hear your <laughs> own thoughts in a different right. voice, like. Make your own video. <laughs> yeah. Make a video that you would rather just buy one that's not as good as the other one, but it's a hundred dollars less. Right. Like, yeah. And, and that's the thing. People are, people are, are quick to say, well, it's cheaper. Fine. But can you walk into a hobby shop tomorrow and get the part that broke? No, you're going to have to order it. It's going to have to be shipped from somewhere in order for you to get that thing. Also, like, I, like, I, I, I want to like things. I think people know on my channel, I'm a lot, I'm a lot softer on a lot of things than I think a lot of people are. I can always find something positive in it. So, with that in mind, I did like the magnet mount for the lights. That's a nice feature. That's pretty oh, cool. Yeah. That is I cool like feature. that. Adding dig. I like that too. It's nice that they've added something. But at the same at the same token, though, it just adds more complication. And that's where I kind of like I'm off on that. I don't I don't like that. Unless it just works, which that's the thing with the tracks. It's like I don't love the performance of the tracks. It's high. Mm -hmm. It's you know the the center gravity is high that like it it's not a performer it's mm -hmm. durable and it's got a wild ass aftermarket and their bodies yeah. look excellent right like, that's the other thing the accuracy on this thing is not good at all like it, it's it's licensed by chevrolet but josh and i both know that there is a separate company that handles licensing. It's not like they present their body to the people at Chevy. They yeah. go, yep, that's a blazer. There's a company that goes, are you willing to pay this licensing fee? Show us what you're making. Yep, looks close enough. Pay us right. our money. Yeah. it's And this thing, is the wheelbase is too long for a blazer. Yeah, it's, 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 it's squished. Odd looking. It's odd looking. Exactly. So right. anyway... It is wild that just it's my duty as a reviewer to say these things. And it's my personal opinion. If you choose to not agree with that, super. That's great. I, I'm not, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> like, <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't bother me. I'm yeah. trying to, I'm trying to save you the headache. Yeah. Until they until they change or do like until it's something like. Like, this is the other thing. It's so strange. FMS, up until this point, did all kinds of original stuff. Like, all their chassis were original, all hard bodies, right. all doing something pretty neat. Well, they no, they had the Atlas, right? Was that not a hard body? No, that's a Lexan body, isn't it? Oh, okay. Uh, gosh, I don't know. I don't have one. I can't, I can't say. Uh, but that chassis is the same as the Mashigan, is the same as the... Um, FJ40 is same as the Jimny, I think, even. Uh, I believe so, yeah. And performance-wise, it's nothing to write home about, but it is a scale kind of crawler, mm -hmm. scale trail truck. Atlas is Lexan. Okay, That's fair enough. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Rich, um, rich boys, I made my... <laughs> <laughs> there was even some projects you were involved in, Rich, that were half decent. Like... <laughs> Once we changed out the transmissions and fixed the gearing and corrected your manual, yeah. you know, like, man, <laughs> uh, those were some good. Yeah. I, I would much prefer to be honest and 
somehow uh, upset people with that, then say it's great. And somebody made a really great comment here. I got to find it because uh, this was exactly uh, the right kind of comment. Uh, if here it is right here from Kevin. If you weren't truthful, we'd all have RC four wheel drive tra trail finder threes. <laughs> and that was a dog. That was an absolute dog. Did you get and I had no trouble saying did, that? Did you get bad comments on that one? <laughs> uh oddly, no. See, and that's the weird thing. Well now actually I no, say, I guess it's not. Hmm. People have people are rooting for FMS because they have done some things that are good. Yeah. But, but it depends on which way you look at it. Like, I've had a lot of the FMS at this point. And I have not found one that I liked. For me, they're not my trucks. And I, you know, the I had the Jimny. I had not the Mash again. Um, I've got, well, I have a couple of Jimnys, different scales. The, 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 <laughs> the 10th, 12 scale two, one. Two it looks great. Scale th anyway. Uh, and I was, I was just like, these things do not drive in a way that I enjoy. And I, I told them that right. I'm like, I'm not going to put a video up of this. I do not enjoy this truck. Mm -hmm. Like, are you fine with that? Just let you know, like, I'll put a video up yeah. if you like, but I don't enjoy this truck. Yes. And they're like, okay, that's fine. Yep. Don't put a video up. <laughs> yep. Uh, and you know, I, I, I think, I, I think manufacturers hope that they're going to get a positive review. But uh, this is this is like yeah, but this is like any industry. There are going to be things that come out that aren't good and they're going to get reviews on them and other people are going to have a great experience with it and it's going to be super awesome for them and that's great. I in fact, I was like I'm not done with this thing yet. I spent 2 hours last night trying to figure out what happened. Uh-huh. And somehow in between being on the bench and working perfectly fine and going out onto the trail, the setup on the, the, the shifting servos for dig and the two speed, they all just kind of got completely dickered. Just crapped the bed. <laughs> yeah. They didn't, they didn't break, yeah. but I was <laughs> able to repair them and I had to spend two hours Figuring out how to reprogram the entire system, which is the weird that they were like convoluted. lose position. Like, the, yeah, if it happened I, once, I have such high expectations that it will happen again. Ben Osborne, thank you very much. Did any of you two get the RC4 drive Miller car? And the FMS is clearly a TRX4. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, we did not. We were not sent. Uh, <laughs> I'm not on RC4 drives. No, I'm on RC4 drives naughty list. And I'm, I'm still on their Christmas card list. But I, am I get the Christmas card, but I'm not get. I do not get product from them. No, I do not. Do not either. And uh, that is not a car that I was going to buy either. That was not. That is not no. a car I would spend my money on. I have. No. I have as soon as had, like had it, it looks several times. I'm like, this is that's a no for me. It looks good. Looks but looks good sitting still. Looks good sitting still. But as soon as you see it run, I was highly disappointed. It, yeah, it, it's it's made by JD. Mo it's not RC Full Drive doesn't Mo. design a lot of their own stuff. They source cars. They do things like that. That's a JD model car. It's done by another company over there. And then, yeah, yeah. it's just it's, an, it's no for me. Uh, yeah, uh, Turbo Row. Thank you. You didn't put any less effort making the review. Manufacturers are big boys and know what they are doing, including the risks they take. Yeah, I don't. Well, I'm not sure they, that they do. <laughs> not all manufacturers, anyway. I think no. a lot of them just kind of. No. <laughs> I think they're just putting stuff. I out just, I see what world. you're thinking. I know it. I know how you. How you got to that point from what you were saying, yeah. but <laughs> yeah, um, it's it's interesting. I got a comment uh, later, late today, actually. That was like it was hard to to sit through this review for as long as I did, listening to a man whine about a toy he got for free. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let Rebecca respond to that one. I think because I'm not in a good headspace to do it myself. 
but essentially, I can't believe that I'm just <laughs> obviously we have very different spouses, which is good, I think. Because <laughs> well, I Rebecca's have, getting a little punchy now, too. She I would have to, she doesn't take it as put much. My foot on Nicole's forehead to pry the phone out of her hand from calling that person <laughs> a lot of names. <laughs> yeah. Give me the phone. It's just like, like why, if you don't like the review so much, why are you still watching? Like, if right. this doesn't, if this doesn't, like, it's, it's like there are only two opinions allowed yours and the one that you think everyone else should have, which is the same as yours. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's gotten very divisive out there. And we're allowed to have free thoughts and think about things and have varying opinions. That's what makes this world great <laughs> uh patina guy thank you van damme should have been in flying cars <laughs> <laughs> just bicycle kicking the truck as it went over top of the car house <laughs> <laughs> look at how far it went uh, <laughs> you took a chance that i wouldn't kick it uh, <laughs> Uh, I think people that like their 18th and 24th options are willing to give them a go for their 10th. They're familiar ordering from overseas and waiting on parts to save a little. Yeah, totally right, Tony. I, I, they have a huge market share, and there's a lot of people who really like their stuff. I, the, I also what? genuinely like their stuff too. Some of it. I think what we found, we found the problem. Tony just identified the problem. It's 24 scale it? people. Uh, Something wrong with those people. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've seen them. <laughs> this isn't a glamorous <laughs> lifestyle we live, Matt. It's <laughs> uh, so good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for uh, your comment, Chibs. I'm not going to... Uh, what do you say here? <laughs> All RC manufacturers should be happy to have an honest review like Matt's. And you know what? It's honest because it's what happened. Like, I'm not... I, I don't have... There's no vested interest for me in having an RC it, car well, be not, not good and fail. That's oh? not true. Oh? There is, okay. Explain. No, like... Uh, we have the ability to earn money off of you buying a truck from our video. Ah, fair enough. Yes. Right. So if we just With say, affiliate this links. is good, click that link and buy it, and I'll get six bucks. Like, yep. that would yeah. be a benefit to us. Like, I, I still put the link in the description, but I said sure. right above it, I said right above it, here's the link to buy it if you still think you should. <laughs> and guess how many I've sold? Did you sell some? No, I've sold okay. none. Okay. And that's good. That's good. <laughs> that means my review worked. Because honestly, <laughs> for the the price that you just paid for this, which it's right here. I might as well just, here it is. I made the body easier to take on and off, too. Oh, oh I, I don't even know how to put the body on. I don't know if you should trust me. <laughs> um. <laughs> is, there we go okay um but i mean like uh what is this 399 right yes 399 yes. so for how much more to get a ford ice significant 100 or yeah 130 bucks something like that 130 bucks how much is a Ford Ice right now? Four fifty nine? No, five twenty thirty nine. What? <sighs> right? That's too expensive. I'm getting the FMS. Yeah, either. But it doesn't have all the features. It's a different. They're different. Yeah, they're different in, models, right? Yeah, totally. In that way. But for a hundred bucks more, you can get a. You can get the. Uh, for four ninety nine or four fifty nine. Maybe it's how much is the Traxxas? I think I'm wrong. What? Yeah, you are wrong. You don't know anything about your own vehicles. Course, you know. you yeah. are such a ding dong. I know. I know. I just, I'm wrong. It's okay. I tried to go to A Mayon. 
Uh, um, TRX four. Four dice, four fifty nine. So, sorry. Yes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so you can get the Defender or the Bronco for four ninety nine, right? So a hundred bucks okay. more. That's a hundred bucks more. Yeah. Doesn't have dig. Doesn't have dig. Probably works. Probably works though. Um, yeah, and like know. Tony said, link link pushing reviewers is is a thing. Like, oh yeah, absolutely. I, there are people who everything is great. Well, and you also have to remember, some people are doing this as a full time job, even mm -hmm. NRC. And you know, if that's your full time job, selling things you're gonna push is what you need to do. So yeah. find the good and. Now there's good in everything. Everyone should get along. There is but also, totally, there's good. You probably in worked a decent amount of hours to, to get the money that it costs to spend that. So I'm just saying, like, yeah. If I go out and I ruin half a day by a truck not working immediately, that's a half a day I'm not getting back. Like, I'm not, right. I'm yeah. happy about it. Nobody's paying me to make these videos. At the end of the day, and I, yeah, like the, not the money directly. Thing, yeah, like you guys are all paying up a little bit, like with your time, and then I get eighteen cents from that if you watch like a thousand hours. So, <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> uh, most importantly, we should thank the people who. Uh, Yes, please. Yeah, thank today. you, everybody. Because this we still is, have, we have uh, to go late today. Very nice. We have to go late today because there is going to be F1 talk. But we gave you two full oh, hours yeah. of non F1. Two talk. hours of entertainment. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, crawler, uh, crawler. Names, names, Josh. There, there's a oh God. This guy started this YouTube channel and he's got like a little 124 skill track in his house and he lives up in like Pacific Northwest. Uh, God, I forget what his name is, but. Pretty sure it's crawler ball. No. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. To be fair, I don't watch. Crawler Ballers, you ever seen crawler ballers uh, home course? Absolutely, I have. I've yeah, commented it's on it. It's great. Oh, have you? I have not commented. I've watched his videos. I've watched the videos. It's a pretty like. It's legit, I'm like, man. I could, really good. I could. I could. I could drive on that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> what did DSM but, say? Something funny. I'm sure he did. Uh, I have a stubby kit, new in box, five hundred dollars. I know what I got. I know what I've got. <laughs> uh, I watch your review videos because usually you give it an awesome paint job and some upgrades first. Other run it straight out of the box. Personal preference. <laughs> Thanks, Kenny. That's not true though. I I do more of the upgrades first. Matt usually yep. does actually just run them right away. I can usually just tell. Yeah. Be like, I know how this is gonna perform. I can tell yeah. already. Okay, um, we're not. No, there's no names to name. We we're not. I'm not naming names. Uh, <laughs> first of all, thanking some people: Black Sheep, yes. RC, Ardvark Spleen, Injured Cyclist, Poor Man John Doe, Doctor Legend, President, Congressman, Senator Legend, <laughs> Buck Dandy, uh, Zeph Cage, Jetwave Seventy Eight. Timothy Brown, Aardvark Spleen, Justin Candler, Perry G, Jeremiah Salberg, Aardvark Spleen, Turbo Row, RC Pete, not RC Steve, 73, Ben Osborne, Steve and Crawler Baller. Uh, one second. Matt forgot how this worked. It's okay. <laughs> Just need to send a quick text. People that are on my list now. Uh, Thomas Bielzik, uh, you snuck one in there. I like to do the cha-cha. <laughs> I like to do. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. Thank you. You're done, RC. Pilot Ryan Media. Uh, <laughs> I thought this was Ratatouille. What the hell? Uh, <laughs> Jeff 13 Brew, Gunner. Uh, Jeff 13 Brew, Gares. Dr. President Legend Buck Dandy the Fifth. Turbo Row, Chris Gibbs. Uh, Lucky RC Adventure, RC Madness Mini Truck Club, Justin Candler, T34 Mech, Thomas Bielzik, T34 Mech again, Turbo Row, RC Patina Guy, and Thomas Bielzik. Thank you, everyone. Uh, JR, is this show still on Lawson? Thanks for the laughs tonight. Another okay show. <laughs> well, it's about to go the other way because we're about to talk. No, it's, yeah, it's about to go real downhill. <laughs> All right. 
uh, down under, you should say. Real down under, mate. Uh, I hear that uh, Valtteri's never coming back. He's just going to live down there forever. Um, I heard that uh, Carlos Sainz has not come back. And... He will not be back again this week. Oh, think. did they say for sure? Oh, I don't know. I heard that he may not be back this week. He popped a stitch, probably, <laughs> in the simulator. <laughs> hey, hey. No es bueno. <laughs> oh, that's what's moving. Um, hey. <laughs> <Un operator. laughs> um, yes. So, uh, an interesting race, I'm sure. Uh, I'm really curious to see who comes in second. Uh, but um, it's been kind of quiet on the horny, uh, horny front. Yeah, there was. They right? were saying like he's going to get sacked right before this race, so it could be any day now. God, I hope so. I need some more drama in my life. Am it's I so on? Great. Am I on the? Am I on my own here with uh, liking Christian Horner? Yep. Really? No one else likes. I him? don't like him. I don't. I don't, like I don't think. Horner? I don't think you can like him anymore. I mean, allegedly. Well, Nothing those are the is. texts. The texts are the texts. Th that's anybody the, who talks to like that, that's, anybody who talks they, like that to real? employee and a female employee. Okay, I, didn't, I can't say that I read all the texts. But are, are they for sure true? I don't think there's any reason for them not to be true. You don't think that there's any reason that one the leader of the most you don't think that you know what, life. Josh? I don't like any of the people involved in this thing. I don't <laughs> like Christian Horner. I certainly don't like Marco, and I definitely don't like Yas. The uh, only person I, don't... I have respect for is Max because somehow, despite all of the people around him, he's turned out okay. Uh, I like Max. Uh, I do not like Yas. <laughs> do not like Skeletor. Uh, like you mean Palpatine? Oh, if, well, you've never seen Star Wars, so never mind. Yeah, as I say, I don't know what that means. Um, yeah, but Horner, I don't, I, I don't mind Horner. Um, <laughs> so, did you see that uh, there was screen recording of? Max online at 4 a.m. the night before Jetta <laughs> playing iRacing. <laughs> yeah. That dude is so, he, so, so he can have some competition in his life. <laughs> I was playing on a controller, so it didn't even count. Like that was his response. <laughs> like, it was just for relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> that's like that's how he relaxes before a Formula One race. <laughs> hours before a Formula One race. And then they like pulled up some of the early press photos and he's like, he looked like me in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> he's married to a Spice Girl. Enough, I agree. And Ginger Spice. Well, and the best one. Definitely the best mm -hmm. one. Gotta love those redheads. And so I'm just saying. my wife's hair color too. She's lovely as well. Um, <laughs> I yeah, like, I don't know. My wife's red. So I'm, I'm on, uh, um, I'm on. This will be an interesting team. race though. Australia is usually kind of interesting. Oh, this is the worst opinion I've ever, your opinion oh. is wrong, Spencer. Your mic is this, gone again. It's not gone on my end. Someone mm -hmm. confirm. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Oh, you sure it's not your side? It's me. Weird. I'm uh, back. Listen. That's a wrong opinion. Uh, who is the that opinion, but it is wrong. Who was the who was the blonde spice? Baby. Really? Uh, I don't like saying yeah. that. Uh, but <laughs> baby like, spice, so weird. I don't like I don't like that one. I, I, <laughs> yeah, definitely don't definitely don't like that one at all. I'm not into uh, posh spice though. Also better. Um, yeah. Sporty Spice has to be down the bottom, right? She had the worst teeth. <laughs> British. <laughs> I'm British. Oh, boy. Now, that's it. Great. Now we just lost all of our British fans. <laughs> yeah, both of them. 
<laughs> Tommy's not even in here. Uh, <laughs> so Baby Spice still looks. She's grown up to be. <laughs> to I mean, she was always at an adult age, but she's she was always much older more. Than me, so I'm pretty sure it's okay. <laughs> much more uh, good looking now. <laughs> Posh, definitely. Uh, <laughs> with your car door or like with no with his skateboard God. deck yeah. <laughs> with his deck <laughs> <laughs> this is formula one talk <laughs> was there a daniel spice <laughs> <laughs> uh oh you know what we for i forgot to show off uh it's too late now I'll, I'll do it later never mind okay um okay so what we bets need, did you need, make i want it i we need to go over them quick as as the chat who is still here which there's still some of you thank you for <laughs> pumpkin thank you. spice <laughs> pumpkin spice yeah <laughs> God, you guys are terrible. <laughs> uh, we oh. need to do some pickups because okay. we lost our bet last week after in Yoshi's, which is penalty. bullshit. Such bullshit. Um, Such so bullshit. We, last week we did matchups. This week we can do better, worse, or stay with matchups. Uh, matchups. I, I or should we should we mix it up? Should we do? Should we do the other one? Let's do. Actually, let's just do. Matchups are fun. Okay. Okay. Uh, first of all, there's per, uh, Perez versus Sonoda. Sonoda plus 11 and a half. Um, that, that means you not this have... week. Okay. Um, Sergeant versus Stroll. Sergeant plus seven and a half. So if, I, I mean, what's Lance going to be? 10th. So that means he'd have to be 18th, 19th, 20. That's pretty tough. Well, that you're you're yes, assuming Alpines. two Alpines are gonna fuck themselves into the barrier. So that's possible. It is possible, but I don't know about that one. Um Oscar I versus think this K may be a sergeant week. Oscar versus K Mag. K Mag plus eight and a half. That's a pretty Oscar could be I think Piastri is gonna podium this race. That and there's no way that K Mag's gonna get eleventh. So we go with we go with K Mag on that, or sorry, yeah, K Mag. No, you go with Piastri. No, on that we go one. with Piastri. Okay, um, Lando <laughs> versus uh, Joe Gon Yu plus eleven and a half. Lance will be in. The, I still have Lance this week. <laughs> um, uh, Lando versus Joe Gon Yu. Joe Gon Yu plus eleven and a half. I think those salvers are shit, and but. 11 and a half. I mean, Lando could against be Joe. Yeah. Oh, no. Joe against Lando. Yeah. I think Lando's top six. Yeah. So that means Joe then is 18th. Yeah. 18th, 19th, 20. Uh, that's tough. Valtteri versus Alex Albon. Valtteri gets four and a half. Ooh. That's tough. Those are close. That's a tough one. That's too close. Um, ooh, Fernando versus mm -hmm. Pierre Gasly. Gasly plus 10 and a half. I think you give it to Gasly on that. Yeah, take Gasly on that one. Um, Leclerc versus Hulk. Hulk plus 11 and a half. I think we take Leclerc. Yeah, take Leclerc. We take that, we take on that, that one. one. Yeah. Haas has been looking too decent to stick with. Like they're absolutely both going to shit the bed. Um, Russell versus Daniel. Daniel plus nine and a half. I think this is weeks. This is the the Daniel week. He's got to do something. What's Russell got to do? Something. Up? Best case scenario, fifth. Best case scenario, I'd say fourth. Fourth. Okay. That Best case Daniel, scenario. Daniel's thirteenth. I mean, it's his place, I but I feel can, like that. I think you can give him that. Give him that one. 
You think, Daniel? I think this is the week. He's got to do it this week it's, or he's it, done. It's a fast track, and that is not good for Merck. Yes. Correct. We're going to bet on Daniel. Oh, this is such a I shit idea. saying that out loud. T34 Mac, thanks very much. Show the pinch Yoda body you could sell me. I can't sell you that one. It's not done yet. And I also, it's it's for a build. So um, that one's not on I'm the I'm only table. putting $5 on that bet. Yeah, that's fine. So, okay. And then I'm going to do my own pick them on the, uh, the... I have to do... I have I, I don't have a pick them, unfortunately. Um, but here's what I've... Uh, yeah. Here's some of the bets I've made. Okay. Oscar Piastri to finish second. For what's the odds? Uh, twenty two hundred. So twenty five dollar wager. No, 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 no. It's like a plus twenty two hundred. So five dollar okay. wager nets me one hundred and ten dollars. Okay. It's like a twenty two times, I guess. No. Okay. Um, I have. Charles Leclerc to be the fastest qualifier. Okay. For how much? Five dollars that's me. Twelve fifty. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I figured two and a half. Yep. Yeah. Here's my same game parlay. Sergio okay. Perez to win. And Charles to finish on the podium. Ten dollars gets me 140 bucks. Okay. Max blows a drive shaft again. Sure. Yes. Possible. Yes. Um, I, that's that's basically the bet I'm making every week. I'm betting against Max. Um, Piastri podium finish, um, and then I've got two long runs for uh, Piastri as well. Uh, so I'm going to do one more bet while we're here. This is just uh, better worse. So George Russell, qual uh, finish position, five point five. I think worse. Worse. I'm going to go, he'll probably finish sixth. Uh, so, and there's quality and finish. I think I'm only going to do finish. Um, let's see. Fernando, better or worse, six and a half. Ooh. I think that car is good on this track. I'm going to go better. Better? Okay. Yeah. So all he has to do um, is finish sixth. I don't want to do a bet on Valtteri. I definitely don't want to bet on Stroll. K hey, Mag 14.5, 14 and a half. I think over. Worse. I think oh, you think can, worse? Yeah, I think that the, this track has got some passing area. I don't think he'll be able to keep people behind him. Yeah. So I'm gonna yep. say worse. Okay. Um, let's see. We've got Alex Albin, Nico, ooh, Lando, 4.5, fourth and fourth and a half. Worse. Yeah. Let's do one more. We'll go 20 times bet if we win them all. Well, you know what? We have to remember here. If if science is out, Behrman's racing again, right? Yeah. That's going to muck everything all up at Ferrari. Oh, um, let's see. Logan Sargent, 17.5. <laughs> I feel like he should be the last one. Take the take. He's going to do better. Better. He's going to do better. Because you got to figure at least one of the Alpines is going to retire. Okay. Maybe one of the Saubers will retire, and Max is going to fuck it into the barrier too. So <laughs> Not that's a three right there. <laughs> Ooh. If he does better, if he does seventeenth or better, it's going to be like a best finish. He's going to be. He's gonna be like the guy in the, the podium with the metal. Like, oh, uh, yeah. How? Actually, no. Let's just make let's make my day terrible that day, and let's make a bet on Lewis, <laughs> so that I have to either I have to root for Lewis. <laughs> Six and a half. Uh, worse. Agreed. That's what I want to bet on. He's gonna finish to go, eighth. Even though I have him in fantasy, I want to just be like, yes, yeah, so do I. <laughs> like. In the wall, in the wall. Right Fantasy the means nothing when there's money on the table. Uh, Jr., thank you, Matt. When are we going to see more video of you getting beat on the go kart track? New season starts April 10th. He's going to be which late is a Wednesday. For five weeks. I'm going to be late for five All weeks. Right. We're doing a ten dollar bet on this one. 
to win. All right, 200. I'll send you five dollars again. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll clarify what our picks are for all of those. You have Lewis in your fantasy. <laughs> Odd. <laughs> so weird, right? Shut it. So weird that he did that. Okay, active. So here's our first one. We did a four pick. Five dollar entry wins us fifty bucks. We got uh, Oscar over K Mag. K Mag plus uh, six and a half. We have Gasly ten and a half over Orlando. Uh, Leclerc over Hulk. Hulk plus eleven and a half. Ooh. And then <laughs> Danny Rick over George Russell with a nine and a half place. That's a. It's happening. A terrible bet. It's happening. And then, uh, in our, terms of fantasy, oh yeah, our better or worse. Got, here's our, this you can screenshot it if you want with Matt's silly face looking at it. <laughs> uh, all right, my fantasy team this week. I think this is the winning team. Okay, I think it's pretty good. Um, uh, Alonzo got him as well. Piastri. Okay, it's a good one. Hamilton, got him as well. Hulk, oh, I like it. Sonoda, not bad. And Aston Martin. Oh, okay. Here's mine. Danny Rick, I'm screwed. I have him for three more races. <laughs> Hamilton, I hate him. I have him for two more races. <laughs> Alonzo is the man. What? This is my last race with him. Fucking stroll. One more race. Who's your team? And Joe. Wow. Two that more. Is, but okay. my team is Ferrari. So, so you got some points there, at least. <laughs> uh, Ferrari, pretty like hey, that's your races. first super chat. Thank you. I'll put three toonies on Bodis placing higher than stroll if he hits the wall again. I'm in the wall. Oh, can you bring it back, Lance? No, no I'm, I'm in the, the fucking, fucking wall. wall. I'm in the fucking wall again, yeah, guys. It's such a whiny Canadian voice. Such a <laughs> such a whiner. No, I'm in the fucking wall. <laughs> oh well, sorry, mate. Uh, you're going so fast. We're we're not able to keep up. <laughs> the wheel says we should all just bet opposite of Josh. Whatever Josh does, don't Somehow, do that. Somehow, even picked them all right the last time. It's been <laughs> Yuki. Yeah. <laughs> Blew it. All right. So I'm uh, in 77th currently on our league. 55th. I'm hoping to overtake Matt this week. I don't think that I'm going to do it with that lineup. No. I really, really don't. No. I think Matt, I'm going to move up again. You have a really solid lineup for this week, I think. Yeah, I feel pretty good. Ooh, Moose Jaw, Checo, Piastri, Ricardo, Bottas, and Alonzo, and Red Bull. That is a solid lineup. That's solid. Wow. How did you that afford is, all of that? That is really solid. 16th, two points behind Nancy. That is that's mm. an excellent lineup currently. Well done, Joe. I am out of money. All right. There we go. That's, That's it. going to do it. Thanks, Thanks everybody. So. Thanks for watching uh, live. Or, uh, What's on the bench? Episode eighty-five tomorrow. Yeah. All right. Excellent. All right. Later. Love you. Bye.